So you want to know how to be a good kisser. Kissing is one thing that most of us do regularly, but everyone can probably benefit from a few good kissing tips to improve our technique. Kissing isn't always something that comes naturally. It is an art that needs to be learned, practiced, and improved upon. If you would like to improve your kissing skills, here are a number of good kissing tips to try, even if it's the first time you're kissing someone. I'm going to be using the female gender, explaining to the ladies how to kiss a guy perfectly. But this video is not limited to ladies alone. There is no perfect way that a girl kisses a guy that is different from the perfect way that a guy kisses a girl. The same way that a girl can kiss a guy and be good at it is the same way that a guy can kiss a girl and be good at it. So whatever kissing tips and the tutorial that I'm going to be dishing out to you guys today is going to benefit both male and female. But I just want to use the female gender to represent the entire video. So if you're a guy, keep watching because this video is for both male, female, non-binary. So let's go with how to kiss a guy perfectly. There isn't one specific way to kiss a guy that makes it perfect. Each kiss is different and it is a very personal thing. There are all sorts of kissing techniques that he will find pleasurable. But to kiss a guy perfectly is to kiss him in a way where you both feel comfortable. Let's discuss where guys like to be kissed. There aren't many places that guys do not enjoy being kissed. The back of the neck, the lips, the ears, the inner wrist, the cheek, literally all over the place. There are also his erogenous zones if you want to get him all hot and bothered. But be sure to check with them to see if he has any problem area first. And remember that great sex keeps his attention in the moment. But an amazing kiss can keep you on his mind for ages. So first, let's go with how to kiss a guy and keep his attention number one prepare your lips beforehand before i show you how to kiss a guy you first need to do a small bit of prep work i'm not talking about studying up on the ancient masters of kissing i'm talking about making sure that your lips are your most kissable this is especially important if you are a beginner when it comes to kissing if it's your first time it may or will be awkward so no need to add on more awkwardness with chapped lips this means using a good lip balm so your lips are soft and not chapped while wearing lipstick might make your lip look more enticing and attractive it is often a bad choice as it ends up leaving mark all over your man when you do kissing as well as getting smudged all over your mouth it is not the most attractive thing trust me another thing to prep is your breath no one wants bad breath when they are kissing so pop a mint chew some gum brush your teeth or use some mouthwash beforehand if you can't get a good lip balm vaseline would do wonders for you now if you're always having chapped lips the way you can use it is applying lip balm or vaseline onto your lips at night and sleep with it then when you wake up in the morning you will see that the vaseline or the lip balm has already softened your lips so you can use an old brush to brush it a little swipe a little on your lips so that it takes off the dead bodies that the vaseline brought out let me teach you how to kiss start kissing your guys slowly and softly at first okay i'm going to use the back of my hand and i'm going to use here as well because i feel like this should be the lips this is your upper lip this is your down lips first you're going to take it softly so <laughs> you lock your lips with his lips most times once i'm kissing someone i really really love being dominant first you're going to kind of a bit of massage his lips with your lips it's going to be like with your lips locked together using your lips to massage his that is it Going to grab his down lips and his upper lips. This is what you do. We need our tongue to kiss as well. You don't need to open. Okay, I'm going to tell you the do's and then the don'ts after this. Your tongue might stick out a little and grab it first. So you can use your tongue first to grab the down lips and then lock your two lips there. 
And then as you're doing this, his lips, his upper lip is also grabbing your upper lips. Or his down lips is grabbing your upper lips, whichever way. If you don't want to grab with your thumb first, you can actually go with just your two lips, like this. You keep going like this, and then the next thing you're going to do is to be switching things up. Then you're going to be grabbing his upper lips as well. So you do it at the down, you do it at the up. The next thing that you're going to be doing with your mouth, because it's not just going doing that, is using your tongue as well. My bad experience. Just putting so much spit inside my ear. Now this guy loves bringing out spit so much. Are you using it as lubricant or what? Of course, it's definitely going to involve saliva, but let it be mild that after everything, I will use my hand and start wiping your saliva all over my mouth. That is a don't. Most people wouldn't love it to see saliva all over their face. So you don't need to involve so much saliva. The next don't I'm telling you is how to use your tongue. When we start getting it deeper and deeper, most of us like sticking out our tongue. This guy that I dated, if, the way he sticks out his tongue like, like he wants to grab the whole of my tongue. Oh my God, what's that? that? Once you see that you become scared, how do I swallow all this? He tries to make me to grab his tongue. It is fine as well. That is another way of kissing. If you're getting it too deep, you can switch up your thongs. You stick out your thong softly. A little bit. You don't need to stick out the whole of your thong. If I mistakenly stick out my thong, hey, he's going to grab it with his mouth and he will suck it out. Like he's going to suck it as if he's sucking a periwinkle. He, as if he wants to take out the thong from my mouth. It is so terrible. Some of us do not even know how to kiss, even if there is love involved, but they don't know. These, these are the things that we really need to learn how to do. It's not a joke, we need to learn how to do it. If you learn how to do all these things, you're definitely going to get better in bed. And someone will still ask me, if you're good in bed, what next? If you're good in bed, that is an advantage to your marriage. If you don't know what next, it is an advantage to your marriage. This is a don't from this from my experience like you don't need to suck out the thong from the throat from the person you're kissing it is not good i don't know but that experience was so bad i don't even like it at all so i know that so many people wouldn't like it so out of this experience i felt it was like i'm going to make a video like this one like people really need to learn how to do this these are the things that you should not do again don't involve your teeth but let me tell you something so many people love involving teeth i don't want you to bite me you can go ahead and ask your partner if he or she likes biting before you do something like this make sure you ask please i'm begging you because he might not find it funny so it's very good to communicate with each other thank you agatha guys for recommending the video so agatha guys recommended the video and that is our picture right there bye if you found this video helpful don't forget to like the video share the video leave a comment down there below in the comment section i always encourage you guys to give me a video suggestion so that i know the kind of videos to bring to you guys i'm going to see you in my next video